Japan's worst nuclear disaster took place on 11th March 2011. A 10-meter high tsunami triggered by a magnitude 9 earthquake crashed into the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, causing multiple meltdowns. Now, five years on, efforts to contain the damage are still ongoing. Thousands of workers are involved. But plant operator TEPCO says they still don't know how bad the situation is at three of the four crippled reactors. It is kind of difficult to say how much we have achieved in terms of percentage, but thinking of the project in mountain climbing terms, if the peak is the tent station, then we have probably just passed the first station. The radiation at the plant is still so powerful it is impossible to get inside to find and remove highly radioactive material from melted fuel rods. Water is needed to keep the cleanup going, but the tanks storing the contaminated water are almost full. There's a danger that surrounding groundwater may also become radioactive. Japan is seeking international advice, but decommissioning the reactors is still expected to take 30 to 40 years and cost tens of billions of dollars.